rumors have swirled around for decades. Where is this game? Did it exist? What do you do in the game industry when you have a whole bunch of games that you can't sell? Shot up in a rocket orbiting the Earth. Banned in 13 countries. They needed to hide these games forever. The 80s was a uh, super weird and exciting decade. There were three big things going on. Madonna, the Nintendo Entertainment System, and Garbage Pail Kids. Meet Bullseye Barry and Pat Splat. They're just three in a whole family of Garbage Pail Kids, a collection of gruesome looking creatures that real kids can't seem to get enough of. I think in a nutshell, they're sort of like the dark things in the corner. It was like buying a package of baseball cards, except you had children vomiting or defecating or pulling their own skin off. Pooping and farting. It's like if you gave a second grader carte blanche to think of all the nastiest shit. They were, for that moment, the thing that I knew I wanted in my life. <laughs> This home video game has become the most popular toy ever. Nintendo, the games that have captivated an entire generation of children. So Nintendo's the biggest thing ever. So is Garbage Pail Kids. Would a crossover make sense from a licensing perspective? Absolutely. The buzz in the industry was that the game was done. I remember looking through different game magazines, and in this catalog was Garbage Pail Kids. Every gory detail was in these screenshots. Images of adorable little children in what had to be intense pain. This is the teaching of the occult. It is behavior modification. What you have to understand here is that this was the Reagan era. These aren't good, clean, wholesome toys. The parents went to the front lines on this. They didn't want this game out there. It is a sick, disgusting video game. Shame on people that produce that track. The naysayers, they killed it. No way this was gonna get approved by Nintendo. The game never showed up. So they kill the game. They have all these cartridges manufactured, taking up valuable space in a warehouse somewhere. What are they gonna do with it? I've heard stories about ritualistic burnings. Buried in the desert, that's one. Eventually someone's gonna dig that up. There's a whole science called archeology span dedicated to that. I've seen enough now to know that this thing's out there. And if we're lucky, we're gonna find it. I think it's something that the whole world deserves to see. It's unfinished business for a lot of people. Is it the cup of a carpenter? Is it the holy grail? Who knows? That's the whole point of going on the quest. I think people are ready for it. I think society is ready for it. It might be the right game for this time.